Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. For years, I have been praying for an opportunity to serve in the 1040 window. You know, understanding the need to serve in local missions, we wanted to do that locally as well with refugees, with immigrants, and with international students. In America. In America, yes, at our church in mm-hmm. Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. That's been a domestic focus of our ministry that we've been trying to build and cultivate. But I wanted to actually have the opportunity to go to an unreached area because I knew that if I got there, that a whole world would just open up, you know, that would give me a better understanding of how God is moving and what the needs are for these last reach people groups. Yeah, it's one thing to talk about them, right? It's one thing to advocate for them when you're at home in America or whatever country you're from, but when you are there Mm -hmm. up uh, first-hand seeing, well, yesterday we went to a Buddhist temple. Yeah. Is that the first Buddhist temple you've ever been to? Of the that? the, the first very one. first, yeah. Yeah. Uh, here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yeah. And, I mean, that. tell me a little bit about your experience. This is, again, going back to your first initial touch point, face-to-face with the unreached, which is going to, like, transform the future of She Saves a Nation, your Absolutely. church and missions overseas, 1040 window. What was that like for you yesterday? Wow. Um, I'm honestly still processing okay. that. Yeah. And I know that upon, you know, just even before we walked in, I sensed uh, a tremendously heavy uh, uh, feeling of spiritual oppression yeah. uh, and warfare and um, and bondage. Yes, yeah. And I think that that's one thing that's been consistent. And and we were having discussions about how the Buddhist faith is so rooted in humanization. Yeah. And uh, the Christian faith, what makes our uh, doctrine true and sound is the fact that our salvation is undeserved. Yeah. Our salvation is unearned. Mm -hmm. And so only through the, the perfect shed blood of Jesus Christ regeneration, you know, of his Holy Spirit and our, uh, our spirit being uh, the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives is what makes us acceptable to yeah. him. He just accepts us because yeah. he loves us. Yeah. I mean, well, we were talking about humanism, yeah. right? As yeah. kind of the base level of Buddhism. We walk into the temple. Yeah. Chanting. Yeah. There's all these elder monks in the very front. This is just yesterday. And... You see these people who are just trying to work out some sort of, not salvation in their terminology, right? but right, they're trying to attain this, to nirvana. Yeah, this uh, actualization of, yeah. you know, some place of which they'll experience this euphoria, this, you know, this perfect existence. But they're trying to do it on their own. In and their how own often, I we were talking yesterday, drawing all these parallels mm-hmm. about how many times we try to do it on our own in the Christian world mm-hmm. worldview. And when in fact Jesus has already done all the work. We're redeemed. Yeah. We're redeemed mm-hmm. from all of that. But I think that, you know, a struggle with that is because we are in such our entire world, we deal with honor and shame culture, we deal with performance based culture, you know, and so people are constantly striving to be accepted, to be validated. Yeah. And it's 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 an innate you know, need for human beings. Sure, regardless of where, where geographical location, culture, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. but the supernatural theology of all this is that God is so perfect yeah. in who he is that he pursues us by his love, and then we can love him because he first loved us. Yeah. And all we bring to the table is faith. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and just accepting uh, his sacrifice. And believing that he died and that he rose again for our justification. And that alone makes us a child of God. Yes. You know, and so my heart was grieved. Mm -hmm. I I was really vexed yesterday, you know, just seeing people that had such a reverence for something that was non-existent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for idol worship. And, you know, it was just really, really disheartening. And my heart was even more compelled to continue to serve, you know, in fulfilling this non-negotiable mandate yes. yeah. of going to the nation. I like how you said it, non-negotiable. This is not the great suggestion. No. This is the great commission. Matthew Absolutely. 28, Jesus commands us to go to every nation, every tribe, every people, every tongue. Yes. And make disciples Absolutely. of all nations. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission.
This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.